Hi folks, welcome back to our video on working with the default slider. We'll talk about replacing, adding, and removing images. Let's jump right into Dreamweaver here and open up our library, our sliders, and our default slider.lbi page. Okay, that's a good place to start. Now let's talk about some of the things we can do to replace the images. Typically what I'll do, if I'm keeping the same number of pictures in the site, in, in other words four, which is typically the default that we'll include, you can add and remove as many as you want, by the way. Uh, we'll just simply create our replacement images. We'll name them the same as the default images and drop them into the folder to completely overwrite them. And that's all the work we have to do. In other words, if we take a look into our images folder, we will see that there are four pictures in here, named portfolio, very large, one, two, three, and four. If we open up our default slider, drop it into design view for a second and just double click on any of the existing pictures. It'll open up the select image source tool. This is a great tool because it tells us the size of the image 900 by 280. So if we were to create four replacement images, make them 900 by 280 pixels and name them portfolio one, two, three, and four, just like we already have on the site, all we'd have to do is take those images, drag them over and drop them into the images folder to overwrite the existing pics, which is exactly what I'm going to do as the first option. I'm going to take these four pictures, which I've already sized and named. I'm going to grab them, drag them over, drop them into my images folder here and let Dreamweaver overwrite them. And in about two seconds, you should see the uh, window update here to some nice golf pictures. There we go. A little bit of a kick in the pants and there we go. All right, so that's really the easiest way to replace the images. However, what if you don't have the same image name? Well, let's show you how that works as well. All right, so I've created actually up to 10 pictures which I may want to use. I'm just gonna import four of them for now called golf one through four. We're gonna drop it into the images folder like so. And all I need to do to change from the portfolio very large one to the golf one is the following. I double click on the picture, I select my golf one, I click OK, and that's it. Now, I want to show you something else. Double click on the picture. You, by default, your Dreamweaver will probably not be set to the image folder. It'll probably be set to the last location it was ever used, if you've ever used this particular tool. If not, if you've never used it, it'll probably start somewhere around the website folder. And if it does, just click into the library folder, click into the sliders folder, default slider, images, and then you'll find your pictures right there. We'll click number two and we'll click OK. So as we're replacing the pictures like so, we'll go through the whole process. I'll speed up a little bit, double click for OK. We need to repeat for the thumbnail pictures down below. If we look in the code view for a second, and let's give ourselves a little bit of space here to, to view things a little bit better. At the top, we have the main images. Below that, we have the thumbnail images. Now, they're the same picture, but we have to list them twice. And let me show you why when we look at our uh, demonstration here. In the default slider, we have the main picture up here. We also have this really cool little feature where you hover over the little back and forward buttons and it shows you a thumbnail version of the picture. Well in order to get that thumbnail version of the picture we have to load it into the library page twice. Maybe a little extra effort but certainly worth it because it's a really cool little feature to have. Now because we're loading it in twice you'll need to change the main picture up top as well as the thumbnail pictures down below and you just repeat the process. Once you, once you have changed all your top pictures and you start to see the original picture showing up again, just double click. It'll tell you which picture. It's the portfolio very large one, which we're replacing with the golf one. All right, so same process. Go down, double click. This is the portfolio very large two. Oh yeah, we're using golf two. So it might help if you name and number your pictures in sequence. I see a lot of members do that and it keeps things very organized. As you can see, we do that as well. We use the portfolio one, two, three, and four so we can keep ourselves organized. Right, so we'll just continue with the process to do all the thumbnails and that's it. Now our pictures are replaced. If you want to add or remove pictures, it's actually fairly straightforward, but you do need to do it in the code window. So we'll switch over to the code view. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room here once again. Okay, now to create a 
to add a picture, just simply copy an existing pic. We'll use the last one here. So you're just going to select the entire line of code, copy it, put your cursor down below, and paste. And make sure you do not knock off this UL tag, okay? Those are very important. That's why we put a little white space between the, the images and the, and the UL tag so you don't actually end up knocking it out by mistake. And if something breaks, well, you just replace the uh, default slider LBI page and you start all over again. That's probably the fastest way to fix it if you're not sure where things went wrong. But um, so we're going to copy again, put our cursor down below, and paste. So now we've added two copies of an image. We'll do the same with our thumb. We'll paste it twice. You go back to design view and now you sort of have to find the copies of your image and usually it's easier just to sort of start at the top. You go picture, 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 picture. Oh, duplicate starts right here. And if you're not really sure if that's the duplicate or not, just uh, select it with your mouse. Go to code view and it'll show you. Okay. Image one, two, three, four, oh, and four and four. So this is where my copy starts over again. I'm in the right spot. Now I can, you know, double click and then I can select a new picture. I probably should have put in a couple of extra right here to choose from. So I'll do that right now. I'll just put golf five and six in like so. Double click on the picture and select five, go down, double click. Select six. Where's golf six? There it is right there. Okay. And then I start over again with my thumbnails. All right. So I can probably scroll right down to the bottom. See, see where my duplicates start. There's the feet. Oh, there's feet again. So this will be five. And if I'm not sure, I can just double click and it'll tell me it's golf four. Right. So I know what I'm doing right on. And that's it. That's adding pictures to remove pretty much the same process, even simpler. It's a code view sort of a thing. There, I just had to stretch that out for you. And to remove it, just select the picture you want removed. I usually I click on the left-hand side where the numbers are, and I press delete on the keyboard. Same thing, just like that. So if I wanted three pictures, I just drop it down to three like so. Same with the thumbs. You can get rid of the thumbs, although it won't make a difference if you do. Um, but uh, I would, to even things out, make sure there's an even number of pictures up top and down below, and that it's using the same image name. Okay. All right, so there's a couple of different ways for adding and removing pictures. You can uh, uh, use the select image window, or you can just re you know create replacement pictures, same size, same name, drop them right into the images fo folder to update them, and that takes care of business.